here at the Pulitzer, we are currently opening an exhibition entitled Living Proof, Drawing in 19th Century Japan. So this show, Living Proof, really looks at preparatory drawings, mostly that were intended for, the wood, for woodblock prints during 19th century Japan. When they're on display normally, it's in the service of the print, so something that shows this is a stage that was going to become something else. Um, but in this show, we're really just trying to focus on the drawings themselves and look at them as artworks almost independently and see what they can tell us about art making at the time and also the specific artists that made them. I'm very much guilty of previously looking at these materials just in terms of what they would later become. So any time that drawings have crossed my radar before, it's been if I've had a print to compare it to and I can see, oh, this is how this became something else. Um, but when I was asked to do this show, it really made me look at them on their own terms um, and really appreciate um, the gestures and the artist's hand that you can really see in these works, which you can't see in the final print. Um, it's quite a humanising show in a lot of ways because you can see how when an artist has made a composition that they're not necessarily happy with, how they've adjusted it, changed it, and because ink is not something that you can erase, those marks and those mistakes or miscalculations are visible. So I think that's something that in your process of trying to find those on the page, it also draws you in closer to the work and you can start to really tease out the figures and the subject and what's happening. What we value here at the Pulitzer is close looking and one of the ways in which we try to accomplish that for this exhibition is uh, through a gallery that has a long drawing table installed in it. We're really envisioning the drawing table not just as a didactic tool but something that's integral to the exhibition and can sort of create a more intimate viewing experience for the visitors so that they can have a moment of contemplation and a moment that can reveal the work a little bit more intimately to them.